right, here's the tweet from Nick Foligno, the captain of the Columbus Blue Jackets. My wife has worked tirelessly on this book and bringing our new platform to life. I'm so proud of her big heart as she continues to inspire us all. I hope you'll join us in our fight for those affected by heart disease. Yes, I know I overachieved. Out kicking the coverage. Oh, well done. That's great. And here are the Felinos. In between them, their lovely daughter, Milana. I hope all three of you know that during the various issues that have taken place health-wise, when we've had players in, like Scott Hartnell, they've been so emotionally wrapped up in what you've been through. For those that aren't as aware, Janelle, we'll start with you. The genesis of all this, you writing this book, please share. Yeah, I think, like you said, we've had, unfortunately, but it's part of our story, we've had quite um, the gamut of health issues throughout the family with our kids. But it started with the birth of Milana. Um, she's seven years old now, but the day that she was born, we found out that she had a congenital heart defect. And that kind of spiraled us into um, years of just a lot of hospital needs and two open heart surgeries, a few minor surgeries in between. And uh, just her story has inspired us so much. And so when she recently, about a year and a half ago, almost two years, I guess, had her latest open heart surgery, I started writing and I write a lot when I'm going through my emotions and everything with the kids. And I wrote her a poem just to have for later in life when she can reflect back on her journey. And when I was searching for books for her, I found out that there weren't very many for kids with congenital heart defects. And so one thing led to another. I met an illustrator and we just decided to turn my poem into a book. And then it transpired into a charitable uh, giving opportunity. So, and, and writing this book, Janelle and to Nick, I mean, not only was it cathartic for you, but you can somehow hope that also offers some sort of uh, comfort to others going through similar experiences. Absolutely. And, and you said it. It, it was definitely cathartic for me. And then just having met so many people who have gone through similar situations as us throughout our years, it was really evident that they could benefit from something like this too. And just hopefully put a positive spin on a difficult situation and have the kids look back in a positive light on what they've gone through rather than, you know, all the hardships. I love you guys using your story to help people get through and, and manage their story and, and, and kind of writing it in their own way. Um, I, I kind of want to ask Milana if I can ask you a question because you sound to be, it sounds like you are tough, tough cookie. And uh, very maybe, brave. yeah, very brave and tough and strong. And I was wondering maybe if you can work with your dad a little bit and start to give him some of that so he can use that in hockey and make himself a little tougher out there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You think you can do that for me? I <laughs> I'll take all the help I can get, that's for sure. We want she's to one tough cookie. Yes, she is, and, and all your children have spent more time in the hospital than anyone would want to. Because it's <laughs> NHL Network, I feel compelled to ask, how in the world could you think about hockey or even think about trying to compete at the highest level when your family was dealing with this, Nick? Well, I think you can see I obviously have a, have a rock at home here with my wife, um, you know, and, and I also realize that I'm, I'm blessed to do what I do. You know, in a way, it's it maybe sound weird to say, but it was, a, you know, going to the rink was a release for me. You know, being around the guys, my second family, even with everything going on, uh, it gave me an opportunity just to focus on something else. And sometimes you need that distraction. I mean, luckily, we've got, you know, great caregivers that we've been able to, to use for our kids and um, you know, and my wife is, is, like I said, a rock in our family and just allowing me to, to go out and, and, you know, realize my dreams. And uh, so when I'm at home, I'm as present as I can be. But knowing that uh, they fully support me when I'm on the ice and uh, it was definitely difficult. I mean, like anyone, uh, you know, we're humans first uh, and the game comes second. I think I'm lucky to have an organization, a, a coaching staff, teammates that that supported me in that. Um, but they all know that there's nowhere else I'd rather be than out there with them when we're when we're competing. And uh, then when I'm here with my family, it's it's family time. So I'm just happy and thankful that we're all doing well now. And uh, we're able to talk about this Hearts playbook and and try to give back. I mean, that's been so important to our family when we you know, first realized what was going on with Milana. It was once we get through it, let's find a way to, to turn a bad into a good. And uh, we are so blessed in so many ways and very thankful. A lot of people have helped us along the way. 
Milana, I'm curious. You're the star of the story. What's it feel like to have a book written about you? That's pretty cool. Yes. What do you think? I don't know. Does it feel really good? Yeah. What did you write to mom the other day? In the note. <laughs> you remember the note that you wrote her? No. <laughs> She's really cute. I, I walked by her room uh, the other day and she said, get out, get out. I'm, I'm, I'm writing something. And and she just wrote, uh, you know, I love you and I, I'm thank you for doing this, you know, for me. And, wow. uh, you know, I'm just, I love you so much. And it just means so much to her. So it was just, it was a really beautiful note that she wrote. I'm kind of paraphrasing because there might have been a few spelling mistakes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, but it was, uh, it was just, you know, that's, I think, to us more than anything, that's what means the most. You know, I want her to see how impactful this can be uh, and how, how inspiring her story can be and hopefully helping so many other people, like so many other people's stories have, have inspired us, you know, and the amount of people that we've come across that have shared it and told it, you know, you see an adult now with a congenital heart defect as a young kid. I mean, that's what we want for our daughter. We want her to have as normal life as possible. And, uh, and we're just so inspired by other people. So we're hoping to do the same thing and use our platform and, uh, you know, and do a lot of good. So we've been uh, really, again, really appreciative of, of all the people that have, have helped us do that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been an amazing ride. We know Milana's mom is an excellent writer, and now we know Milana is an excellent mm -hmm. writer, too, in addition to being very brave. Thanks so much for joining us, and we're all behind you. Thank, Thank you, guys. You so Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, everybody. Thank Likewise. You.